So I'm in my mom's car right now. And we're at church. And I'm listening to the radio. <laughs> and it's a comedy station, so this is by Ralph Ralphie Ralphie or Ralph uh, it's either Ralph or Ralphie May and it's called Driving While Mexican I hope you enjoy this 8 minute video and I figured that the best defense is a good offense so I'm like okay babies um, what do y'all want to do and my daughter April is a little bit of a TV junkie so she's like daddy it might be nice if we watch some cartoons or something I don't know <laughs> And I'm like, oh, you're such a smart baby. I was thinking about watching cartoons. You're so smart. You're a good baby. All right. Go, you babies, go sit on the couch, okay? And they have their little nest where they got their soft blankets and their toys and everything. And they're both up there. And I'm like, which one do you want to watch, baby? And she goes, Dora the Explorer, Daddy. And have you seen the show? If you haven't, it's about a five-year-old little Mexican girl that's always lost, okay? <laughs> It should be called Door the Amber Alert is what it should be called, okay? It is. This this really freaked me out. I had a minor panic attack. I'm just thinking about dirty white guys, and I come in and watch this show, and I think the show is invented by someone who wants white people and black people to hate Mexican people. That's all I can deduce. Uh, it just don't seem to make sense. They, they've got this little girl walking by herself in the woods, okay? As a parent, I'm watching this going, oh my God, where's that baby's parents? <laughs> Who lets the baby walk out in the goddamn woods? That baby's got a monkey with her, Jesus Christ! Get that baby away from that monkey! That monkey eat that baby's face off, oh my God! That's what those domesticated monkeys always do, they eat people's face off! And they go, oh, I didn't know he was a nice monkey until he ate first somebody's face off! Get that baby away from that then I'm like, who lets their baby walk out in the middle of the goddamn woods by themselves with a monkey? Mexicans. Oh my God. This thing just made me a racist. And I realize it's designed to make you a racist. They've got that little girl crossing a river in every episode. Latinos, y'all are under assault everywhere I go. I was in Arizona, and the white people there have invented a law where they're pulling people over for driving Mexican, okay? <laughs> Swear to God, all right? If you've got 49 people in your car, good luck going through Phoenix, Jack. Good luck. You're going to need it. Everybody gets pulled over. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sarge, we got an 84 Chevy Silverado, blue on blue, with three lawnmowers in the back. Pull that son of a bitch over. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I told all my friends in Arizona, I don't care if you're white, black, or brown, don't leave home without your wallet in Arizona. Or you're trying to explain how you ain't Mexican, you'll be eating a dry bologna sandwich on a bus ride down to Mexicali. Going, I swear to God, my name's Brandon. I was just mowing my own yard. Yeah, what happened? I don't even speak Spanish. Look, none of my teeth are silver or baby size. Look, look, look. I don't think the people who made this law up have really thought it all out, you know? Think about it, folks. If we get rid of all the Mexicans, not for nothing, how are we going to move? Everybody I know uses Mexicans. White people, black people, Mexicans use Mexicans, okay? I'm not talking about well-nourished American Mexicans with good bone structure and proper nutrition. I'm talking about those little mojados, those ones that sneak over the border that you get at the Home Depot, three for $50 or for $100, 12 of them will show up and uh, with three old ladies and abuela and two tias, okay? It takes them 17 minutes, 17 minutes, and they move all your stuff out of the house on the one pickup truck, one in an upside down pyramid they stack it it's incredible amazing engineering amazing no rope no rope 
They just throw the littlest Mexican up on top and he holds down two mattresses and a coffee table. It's incredible. For that 17 minutes, your whole house looks like that movie Apocalypto. It's up. Little Aztec Indians jumping around, popping up. One of them is praying to catch a kawada in the corner. Yeah, catch a kawada. And as soon as they're done, here come the three old ladies sweeping, mopping, dusting, washing everything down with that uh, purple water, that Fabuloso or something like that. I don't know. That ain't from America. That stuff is bona fide. That gets off third world dirt. Like you got a you got a cholera outbreak, you get that Fabuloso, Jack. That stuff cleans everything, son. It like punks out Mr. Clean like he's a bitch, okay? That Fabuloso is the real deal. And these old ladies are cleaning everything. You're standing in the former shell of your house going, why are we moving? This is amazing. <laughs> it was our crap that was messing this house up. I I Don is joking. And you know, I, I tell people that's where the term spick and span comes from. And uh, <laughs> look it up, look it up. Cause Mexicans are so clean, see? See, at first you think it's going to be a racial slur, then it turns out to be a racial compliment. Now who's prejudiced? And that was the video. I hope you enjoyed.